Juan Trujillo Baca was born in September 1841 in La Jolla, New Mexico to Miguel Baca and Maria Trujillo. La Jolla is located on the east bank of the Rio Grande, 20 miles north of Socorro, New Mexico. In 1862, he drove his sheep west from the Rio Grande into a bowl-shaped valley at the foot of pine-clad mountains. 21-year-old Juan was the primero hombre, the first man in the valley, what we now know as Round Valley, Arizona. The Bacas were beaver trappers on the Rio Grande during the period when fur buyers and trappers from St. Louis stopped off at Santa Fe on their way to the Rocky Mountains in the west. But like other Spanish families along the Rio Grande, they also farmed and ran sheep. Juan liked Valley Redondo and later brought his brothers, Denicio and Francisco, to it. And later, after his father's death, he also brought his mother and his brother Benigno to the valley. He homesteaded 160 acres where the town of Springerville is now located, and the family lived at the west end of the present town. Each summer, the flocks of sheep were moved to the mountains to the west for grazing. They returned to the Rio Grande once a year with their wool. Shortly after the Bacas settled in the valley came other families, the Carrillos who built a fort at the lower end of the valley where the Little Colorado River enters the hills on its way to St. John's. The early Spanish settlers tended their sheep, raised vegetables, and hunted wild game. Another family that came to the area were the Lunas, after whom Luna, New Mexico, just across the state line from Alpine, was named. Most of the Lunas were wiped out in a raid by Victorio, the Apache chief, who also led the Alma Massacre and the Massacre and Burning of Camado, New Mexico. But the Bacas fled to the hills each time they heard rumors that the Apaches were in the vicinity. Around the same time, the first Anglo-American settlers began coming into the Round Valley area. Among them, William Milligan, who started a grist mill in Milligan Valley at the mouth of Water Canyon. Harry Springer, who established a store and who Springerville is named for, even though he was in the area for less than a year. In 1876, the Beckers established a store in the same area as Springer ha had had his store. Juan's brother, Denisio Baca, ran the D.B. Baca store for years. It was located on South Mountain Avenue in the area where the Baptist Church now stands. Sadly, it burned down in 1920. Denisio was also a successful farmer and for a short time was Apache County treasurer. I couldn't find a firm death date for Denisio, but did come across a notice to creditors in the St. John's Herald newspaper from June 1899 that was first published in May of 1899, so I am guessing he passed away early 1899. Juan was married to Demetia Chavez in 1880, and they were the parents of five children, three girls, and two boys. Demetia passed away in 1904. Juan Baca lived to see many come and go and many changes take place during his long lifetime in his beloved Valle Redondo. He passed away at home on December 17, 1952, at the age of 111, and was buried in the Springerville Community Cemetery. Thank you for watching this episode, and we hope you enjoyed learning just a little bit about the history of Round Valley. And we hope you will join us again next time for another page from Apache County History.